Hey there, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com. And uh, this little video is uh, by request. I had a customer who uh, wanted to know all about BECs. So let's talk about them. All right, BEC, what does BEC stand for? That's a battery eliminator circuit. So if we go back in time, um, receivers were powered by little separate individual battery packs. And the reason for that is because the receivers run off of five volts, exactly. Uh, and typically your model runs off anywhere from six volts to 12 volts volts in most cases, which means that that voltage is not compatible with your receiver. So the solution was simply to add a peripheral battery pack. And uh, these are, are kind of what they look like for the most part now. This is uh, a nickel uh, cadmium NICAD battery pack. And uh, you can see it's got a little tail uh, on the end there. In most cases, there will be a dedicated battery port on your receiver, um, or in the case of more modern ones, they share a common power bus across all of the servo ports, which means you can plug it into any of those ports to supply power to your receiver. So um, this, uh, in many cases, is not um, ideal. Uh, it's another battery pack that you need to uh, monitor in terms of the charge level. It takes up uh, weight and it takes up room, particularly in smaller boats. The solution uh, to that, uh, there's a few ways of going about this. So uh, a lot of the more modern brushed electronic speed controllers, such as uh, this beautiful little unit put out by Mtronics and available at the NautilusDrydocks.com, um, can supply up to 10 amps of power to your electric motors. But the other cool thing is it takes power in through that main power lead, uh, converts it to five volts and pushes it out, the, uh, the power lead for the servo, powering your receiver. So it has what's called a built-in BEC. So if the electronic speed controller has power, it'll push that power out to the receiver, power the receiver, power all of your servos. Now, part of the issue uh, with these onboard BECs is typically they are not exceptionally high output. In this particular case, uh, as it says in the back there, it is 1.5 amps of power for your uh, servos, peripheral equipment that are plugged into the receiver. Now, uh, in some cases, most cases, that is going to be adequate, uh, particularly if you're using, say, micro servos. But if you've got a larger model, um, each one of those servos could potentially draw uh, more power than what you would want uh, if you have many of them operating at the same time or a peripheral circuit powered by the receiver. It can overload the BEC. And uh, I've seen kind of weird things go on um, with receivers um, that power the peripheral equipment uh, directly from the receiver BEC um, power. So um, while these work 90% of the time, sometimes you'll get weird kind of artifacts uh, that go on. So the, um, the other thing to think about, the, the modern brushless electronic speed controllers, the, those speed controllers are literally the size of a postage stamp. Um, exceptionally cool. Uh, the BL Heli 32 ESCs that I carry at the dry docks are a perfect example of that. They're super tiny, uh, 40, I believe they're 40 amp output for the brushless motors, but there is no built in battery eliminator circuit. So you still need a way to power your receiver. The solution, a dedicated battery eliminator circuit. And um, that looks like this. I'm gonna bust right into a brand new package to show you guys. Um, this is one variant that I carry. Um, and basically what this does is the exact same thing that that uh, electronic speed controller does. It takes the main supply voltage of let's say 12 volts, converts it down to five volts, 
powers your receiver through it. So, um, you know, this is probably uh, smaller than the, the size of a, of a postage stamp. And uh, you'll have power in uh, on the one end and power out on the other end. And you, uh, you simply hook this up to main battery power. You can snip that lead off, splice it directly in. Um, and then this plugs into your receiver and powers uh, the receiver. Now the advantage to this is uh, a dedicated uh, UBEC like this, um, Universal Battery Eliminator Circuit, typically has a higher amp output. Uh, this particular one is a uh, three amp output, so that's lots of current to power your servos and uh, peripheral equipment directly from the receiver. And the other thing is it, uh, it does a better job of electrically isolating uh, the power and the noise from the receiver. So you tend to get a little bit better performance uh, and more reliability out of your model if you use a dedicated battery eliminator circuit. So that's it in a nutshell. What is uh, a BEC? It's a battery eliminator circuit. What does it do? It takes your main power, uh, drops it down to the, the level that your receiver likes to use and uh, powers all of your cool stuff. Uh, it's as easy as that. So I hope that is helpful, uh, answers your questions. If you have any other questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. Uh, you can email me anytime, bob at rc-sub.com uh, for tons of uh, information, kits, components, resources, uh, and reviews, check out my website at nautilusdrydocks.com. Uh, always appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. Catch you next time.